already. Hey, what up, guys? Resh here, and happy Thanksgiving to all. Having another stream today. Now, I noticed in my last stream that there was a little bitty issue with the audio. It was way too high. So I'm gonna game volume down a bunch. I just turn it up on my freaking headphones and then it's so good. Oh wow, we already have 15 viewers. Let's go, boys. <coughs> Let me know in the chat if you guys are going to Black Friday tomorrow. I certainly am not. I don't feel like getting stabbed by some mom that wants to get the, their uh, hit an Xbox. I'm in. Oh, uh, God. Black Friday. GG. I just finished, uh, two more raids. Um, I streamed about 15 minutes of one. I don't want to stream the whole entire thing because it was kind of boring. Kind of boring. Oh, that came from. Sure, better have some black. Yeah, that's that that that's so true, man. Um, Zer should definitely have some Black Friday deals for us. Mine, Zer. You better be selling your two Galahorn with fifty percent off. Whatever seventeen divided by two is. No, eight point six something. I don't know. Maybe I was talking in Crucible yesterday. That was so bad. Oh, God. I was freaking talking in the stream. I like I was talking to myself. That was so mad. That was so embarrassing. Now, there's been a topic. It's been killing the past like week or so of this topic is team star now you probably if you've been on YouTube for a little while you probably know who Keem is team star killer Keem star face Keem star whatever it's been killing me I want to make a Keem star exposed video not because I want attention. Not because I I think people care what I think. I want to get on Drama Alert. And I want to have a debate with him. Because he is the, he's the most ignorant hypocrite on this planet. He really is. He really is. I'm just going to turn this like almost all the way down. Um, cause yeah, he could hardly hear me yesterday. That was bad. He is the biggest hypocrite ever, like, oh my god, I gotta, I could, I could spend literally all damn day talking about this guy, all damn day. Now, I'm just gonna say, I once was a Keemstar fan, I watched Drama Alert when, like, Lizard Squad was relevant, uh, and when, uh, Kim.com, give him mega vouchers, screw off. I was a fan. I, I didn't know this guy's past, this guy's background. It, it, it ain't pretty. Let's just say it ain't pretty because it isn't. There's been several videos on Keemstars and telling people to kill themselves. Even even tweets saying they're gonna telling people to kill themselves, and and then he goes on Drama Alert and exposes people that uh, tell kids to go kill themselves. No, it's not good. Either way, but what? Why are you going and exposing people that are just like you? You just seem. I, you, 
Scarce. He said he was gonna come to his house and strangle him. He said he, quote, needed his hands around his neck. Quote, he needs to die. Now, this is a kid. Scarce is probably like 16. I'm not sure how old Scarce is. Scarce is a good guy. I've been watching Scarce for a while, and that's made me turn on Keemstar. Because, come on. Come on. Really? You're telling him that you... I think... And then there was someone else. I'm not sure if this was Biblical Reaper or someone else. He said he wants this person to have their last breaths in agony and suffering. He hopes he gets cancer. He says he does not care about the fans. Keemstar is saying he does not care about the fans. Screw the fans. Screw the fans. And he said, is he being... And then chat went off thinking he was sarcastic. He was like, oh, yeah, of course I'm sarcastic. Cancer is a bad thing. And he said, not bad enough. <sighs> and that's why I hope your dying breaths are in agony. Like, the hell? Is this professional in Keem's eyes? I can actually find, I can find, uh, I can play Chosen's video over the mic of Keem being a absolutely disgusting person to people. He is very nice to the people that support him, but if you have the littlest disagreement with him, he will make it his power that his fans sick on them and... He called EC a freaking stalker because he made some videos about him exposing him. EC is a YouTuber for around 20, 30,000 subscribers. Now, his fans attacked Keemstar, of course. Then Keemstar sent his fans against him. Now, EC did not send his fans, they just went. Keemstar purposely sent his fans towards EC. And Keemstar has 600,000 subscribers, EC only has 25 or something. Up. And then he calls EC a stalker. He calls EC a stalker. Even did I remember making like 20, 30 videos about Basher. Ruining his life, telling him to kill himself. Made him suicidal. Calling him a uh, pedophile when there is no proof of him being a pedophile. Made him go literally insane in the head made countless videos and harassing him via twitter that's not stalking keem is that stalking but ec making a couple videos is him stalking you again ginormous hypocrite again he, he says oh he exposes people for encouraging suicide and stuff and then he tells people to go kill themselves and yeah. Hypocrite. Ignorant piece of crap. All he is, man. I might just... I really want to get on drama alert because I'm going to go... And ruin this guy. I want to ruin him. I want to get him off of YouTube. I want him gone. I want him gone. I don't want to do it for my own attention. I'll go and stream me. I don't care. I'll just Skype him and talk to him there. I don't care. I want this guy dead. I want to do a debate. Yeah, it's Keemstar actually, I think, removed the scarce debate. No, someone else. No, it was uh, some guy. They were talking about the Vietnam War. Not Vietnam. <laughs> the war in Iraq. Keemstar got much negative attention on his. He removed it. <laughs> he removed it after he got negative attention. And then FaZe kicked him out because he was being ignorant about uh, the Iraqi war. Saying that snipers are cowards. And to be a hero, you need to be in the front lines. Is that true? Is that really true that you need to be in the front lines to be a hero? You're saying snipers are cowards. Just people that 
freaking put their life on the line to serve their country are cowards. What are you doing? You're sitting in your freaking house making Call of Duty videos. You're mocking people that serve for their country? Screw you. Screw you. You care about no one but yourself and the people that support you and your crappy cause. Screw Keemstar. He doesn't care about the fans. He wants his money, bruh. When he gets freaking donations, he acts like he cares, but he doesn't. He's even said in his own words that he doesn't care about the fans. God, I can probably find some audio here. Oh, I'm super low on battery. And shut up. Trying to find out some uh, audio for you guys. Hold on. I think this is the right one. Laughing the last hour that your mom died of cancer. I don't give a fuck about any of you. I am in this for your money and your money only. That's all I care about. All right. I only do this show for money. That's it. All right. I don't do it to entertain people. That's just a fucking scam. Uh, I don't give a fuck about any of you. I really hope you die of cancer. I hate every single one of you. Fuck the fans. No sarcasm. No joking. Fuck the fans. Thank you. I see there's a lot of debate. You know, is he joking? Is he being sarcastic? Whatever. Of course I'm joking. You know what I mean? Like, cancer is a horrible thing. But it's not horrible enough. What I really mean is I hope you get cancer, and I hope you fucking live the last fucking month of your life every single day, gasping for a breath of air and living with the worst horrible fucking pain of your life. The last fucking time. Fuck. The. Fans. There you go. Is that someone that you want to respect? Is that someone that you think is mentally stable? I think he's a bipolar or something. Because he'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm so, yeah, I'm so cool. And, uh, oh, my God, all this support. And screw these haters. And then he becomes one himself at nighttime. I... I no, no, I don't know, man. <sighs> I, 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 there's more, uh, there's much more with this guy. Deadly, this is not the end. Again, he calls people racist when he is racist himself. I'm trying to this little webcam video that he made a while ago. Right. Here we go. Fuck this! I'm on blog TV with my fucking hands up. I'm not starting my fucking self. You fucking stupid bitch. This stupid fucking justice, all fucking righteous fucking nigger, Alex is doing this shit. You fucking nigger! I swear to fucking god, I'm gonna- Yo, everybody type in the chat, Alex is a stupid nigger. Just type in the chat, Alex is a stupid nigger. Yeah, and then he calls people racist. This is all his voice. There's countless amounts of this crap all over. <laughs> this guy is such a joke.
Oh, this video is great. Listen. Your viewers are seeing this. Your fans Hypocrite. are seeing this. You know that YouTube Red isn't going to put you on the fucking streets. And the way you guys are complaining and acting about this on Twitter just makes you seem like you're just doing it for the money. I'm in this for your money and your money only. That's all I care about. All right. I only do this show for money. Do we money. really just do this for the money? Or do we do it because we love... Alright? I don't do it to entertain people. That's just a fucking scam. Uh, I don't give a fuck about any of you. I, I see there's a lot of debate. You know, is he joking? Is he being sarcastic? Of course I'm joking. You know what I mean? Like, cancer is a horrible thing. But it's not horrible enough. What I really mean is I hope you get cancer and I hope you fucking live the last fucking month of your life every single day gasping for a breath of air and living with the worst horrible fucking pain. Last fucking time. Yeah. That's Keemstar for you guys. That is Keem Star. I don't care, man. Keem, you're not gonna. You're just gonna use the. Doing it for attention card. Just weet the stream at him, man. Weet this freaking stream at him. Go right ahead. I don't care. Calling you out, Keem. Do something about it, man. This guy just needs to go. He needs to go far, far away. Freaking people in this industry that are just not fit for it. Oh no. Get to where it is. What? Oh, did they patch this? Aww. They patched it. Damn it. You could jump across to get the scent of... The scent is the key. You could just jump across here. It was pretty hard, but it was easier than doing the... I found it myself. Now the next topic I want to talk about, this, this, this is Thanksgiving, but I'm not giving thanks to anyone today. Basically the opposite, I'm going to be exposing people. Now, the Triton Army. Oh my god, these freaking, oh my god. Not the Triton Army as a whole, but specifically Triton HD and Smile Before Death. Um, these two guys just post freaking glitches constantly oh my god yeah that's all they do and they ruin the hell out of our community <sighs> destiny community is screwed because of them we would be so much better off without them so much better off this tether glitch um, it's basically where you could just 
shoot off two tethers and then pause your game and then go back it's patched now i even posted a video on this not showing you how to do it but it's freaking showing how game breaking this is and why the trials was getting canceled i demonstrated it my friend uh i've demonstrated it by my friend so you wouldn't see me doing it directly you would just see my friend shooting infinite bows and yeah Now, these people posted this glitch, spread it, spread it all over the place, and they didn't need to, and then complained when the trials got canceled. They literally made a video of whining and complaining about the trials being canceled. Now, I did do this in my video as well. I guess you can call me a hypocrite too, but I really can't see, see people complaining when they're the reason that... <laughs> when they're the reason that it's canceled, why are they complaining? They made it happen. <laughs> I don't get it. I really don't. Man. Now. It's like this. You. Go and smash up a store. You freaking destroy that store. You destroy, you break, you wreck the, the whole entire store's ruin. It needs to be redone. It gets closed. Because you tore up the store and ruined it. And then you complain that it gets closed. That's basically what's happening here. And then, they post a video saying, Oh, guys, only use this glitch in PV PvE. Do not ruin Iron Banner. Ruin it before the glitch was released by them freaking pieces of crap could have just damned bungie you didn't have to freaking show the whole entire destiny community how to do this game breaking glitch we do not need to know these glitches these glitches are making the game worse less fun cheeses in the raid are making this game less fun i don't care i'll say it straight up cheesing makes the game less fun Crota was the most cheesed raid of them all. Vertizen. It was freaking cheesed to the max, man. Every single encounter could be cheesed. Except, uh... I don't think Aryu was ever cheesed. Oh yeah, you could, you could. You could go up inside the freaking top. You could go to the top of the map and just shoot her down. Yeah, there was a cheese for every encounter. Now... I think there's only been like one for King's Fall. That's for the Warp Priest. There's really been no cheeses. Now, I would not count the No Knight strategy as a cheese because you still gotta. It still requires work. It's still hard to do. It's easier. It has a little bit of cheapness, but. It's still hard to beat. It still takes a while to beat, even with the No Knight strategy. It still takes a while. But like, freaking pulling the internet cord so freaking Crota doesn't move is not fun. How is that fun? You're making the game worse, Trayton. You're posting glitches that involve messing with internet, messing with routers, which is not good for them, and plugging internet cables and crap. That's never good for your console. Now, when it came to like GTA money glitches, that did make the game more fun. It opened up opportunities. Um, so people didn't have to sit there constantly grinding. Now, you could say, oh, you gotta grind the raid, but you wanna earn your wins in the raid. It's not gonna be fun if you just cheese it every time. You wanna have fun. You wanna do the things. Grinding jobs over and over and over in, uh, GTA was not fun. Doing the raid is fun. What's there for? Jobs were just kinda there f for filler for not buying shark cards. They're there for the alternative. The grindy piece of crap method. The raids are there for you to have fun and complete and earn your loot. Not freaking cheese. You would have a lot more. And it's just showing that you're unskilled. It, by cheesing and crap, it's showing that you're unskilled.
I avoided cheesing Kurtisan as much as possible, but people continue to freaking do it, especially with the bridge encounter. These raids are so fun if you would just not cheese them. How are these raids fun if you're speedrunning them and crap? They're made to be challenging. They're made to give you a challenge and have fun. Not freaking blow right through them. Come on, guys. Just play the raid They're supposed to, how it's supposed to be played. Don't cheese. Try an army. You live off of these stupid... You, you are stupid what you got into. You're stupid for getting yourself... You, you, if you didn't have glitches, you wouldn't even be popular anymore. If you stop, they're not going to stop because they won't be popular if they do. Everyone goes on there so they can freaking be cheap and pass King's Fall. When you get that emblem, you wear it with pride because I beat... I beat orcs. I beat orcs. I'm proud. But no, when you cheese them, how are you proud? You didn't do anything. You just cheated. Cheated your way. Cheated your way there. Didn't earn it. Like we all did. That's why I don't like cheesing. That's why I don't like the Triton Army. They do post good stuff. They do. But mostly this crap. Cheeses. And then they, they use this. Whenever people criticize them, they, they pull this card. If you might if you might recall there's this guy named Kermit the Frog. He uh share played with this kid on Destiny and deleted all his characters. The guy basically said he could cheat him the level thirty four. Basically what they do. <laughs> cheat people to success. But then he went on and deleted all his characters and exotics. And again they use this to clickbait. Clickbait. Click bait. He said, D "Exotics deleted." And then you go into tags, and it would be like, "Challenge: Exotics deleted." Kid, Xbox 360, Xbox One. They used this topic for their own advantage, which was a piece of crap move. You know what they did? They said, "Oh, we helped him. We helped him so much. We helped him get back to his level." You know what they did? You know what they did? They gave him a few exotic chests on the vault of glass. One, actually, he only had one character. He gave, they gave him exotic chests and ran him through one vault of glass. How is that helping him? You didn't, one vault of glass run is not helping anybody. Then you say that you put all this time out of your day to help this kid. You ran vault of glass on normal once. This kid, and yeah, it's nice that you're helping, but don't use that crap to make excuses for all the other bad crap that you do on your channel. These guys are messed up, man. I'm gonna die. Oh my god, how did I get out of that? How did I just survive that? <laughs> oh, oh man, I'm godly. Oh man. Come on, man. Stop using excuses. No excuses, Triton. Who else do I need? To I don't think I really had a beef with many other people, honestly. Like, it's been pretty clean. Now you're probably saying, who are you to criticize them for, for, uh, posting glitches? Ooh, who are you? You're just some stupid kid with 400 subs. Do I not deserve, do I not deserve to have a voice? Just because a number of subscribers that I have doesn't mean that I shouldn't have a voice. Yeah, I might be small. I can still speak out for my own self. Alright? Good. See, so you can still jump across there. See? You can do that for the sun, which is over there. You just gotta do the same thing. That's a little bit farther. You gotta jump. 
man. Yeah, that's about it. So, so guys. Oh my god, shit's going electric. I gotta check this. Everyone's just basically saying Keem is a douche. All the chat is just saying is Keem is a douche. Alright. He's the most hated person in the gaming community, Keem. He's the most hated freaking person in the gaming community. Now, I've been wanting to get this off my chest for such a long time. Like, honestly, I've had this stuck inside of me for... Alright, shut up. Shut up, I did not mean to say that. Um, I've had this freaking... I've been wanting to say this for so long, and I can finally say it. Keem, you're bad. You're a hypocrite. You're ignorant. You're the most ignorant person alive. And I'll stand to that forever. Ignorant piece of crap. Harassment. Encouraging suicide. And goes and exposes people that do the same. How about you expose yourself, game? Expose yourself to your freaking little fan base that doesn't know who you truly are. Man. Got issues, Keem. You're a manipulative piece of crap. So, that's my story. See you guys, later.